we always leave the hotel room and like basically pull oh, down okay. our pants <laughs> to like make sure we're yeah. wearing the same bottoms. Yeah. Hi, I'm Melissa Jimena Paredes. I'm 26 years old. Um, born and raised in Toronto, Ontario, but now call Hermosa my home. And I'm Sarah Pavin. I'm 33 and uh, born and raised in Kitchener, Ontario, and now I live in Hermosa Beach. I think we really got to know each other uh, at the Rio Olympics. I had the opportunity to go as an alternate uh, and kind of like their training team, which was an unbelievable experience for me and an incredible opportunity. And I got to kind of see firsthand how Sarah um, is as a person and as an athlete and how she functions and, and how she trains. And I think she got to see me as well. In watching her, I thought that she definitely had what it took to be one of the best in the world. And I went up to her and I asked her if she'd be interested in partnering with me in the pursuit of Tokyo. And, and I said yes. Luckily, she <laughs> said yes. I mean, it was a no-brainer for me to partner up with her and pursue this Tokyo journey together. Sarah and I, we complement each other in a lot of ways, um, personality-wise and athletically. Mel brings a lot of joy to the game, if you haven't noticed. And um, the thing I always say is like when Mel is being herself and is playing with joy, that's when she plays her best. And where I'm very, very intense and I come across as very serious, she has allowed me to, to feel more joy when I'm playing and to be able to smile and, and know that everything will be okay. I spend more time with Sarah than her husband does. I think that should give you a clear Mel idea. Mel is my wife, and yeah. I'm her wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I would say when we're on the road, it's almost 24-7. Um, yeah. I think the time apart is when we're showering. Maybe. We share a room. We eat together. Yeah. We practice together. We fly on 12-hour planes together. And then we do it again the next week. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a lot. We always leave the hotel room and like basically pull down our pants <laughs> to like make sure we're wearing the same bottoms yeah. because we had an experience once in the Netherlands. We did not do that. We, and we're wearing tights. We were wearing tights and we did not pull down our pants and double check that we were matching bottoms and we got to the venue which was about half an hour away. And we were like finishing our warm up. We had 10 minutes before the game. We pulled down our tights and we're wearing different bottoms, you guys. <laughs> so what was their solution? Oh, don't worry, go wear the dancer's bottoms. These girls they are wear four thongs. Foot, four foot five, <laughs> and they're wearing thongs on a four foot five girl. I... <laughs> Let me tell you. So that was, we were like, no, we can't do that. Tried it, wasn't a good look. Yeah. Meanwhile, we still have, we have like five minutes until game time. So we... what do we do? Yeah. We, uh, we, borrow our, yeah, we borrow our we borrow our friends from Switzerland bottoms who just finished playing. We wore them over our bottoms. We don't wore them worry. over our bottoms. Don't worry. Yeah. Do not worry. We would not do that. Yeah. That was the most uncomfortable game of my life. <laughs> Double bikini bottoms. Not good. We lost. We obviously lost. <laughs> Being able to play on the ADP first off has always been a dream and we feel so lucky and honored that we're able to participate and um, it's so well done, it's so professional, it's so high level, like the quality is unbelievable and like it's just incredible and so we're very lucky we don't take that lightly. Coming in I didn't really know how the fans were going to react and they've I think for the most part really embraced us and it's been a pleasure to play of them. We have a lot of fans who come up to us and be like, we love you, we're cheering for you, or like, we're Canadian and yeah. we love you, and so, um, I mean, it's, we, always, we always get the hecklers. Totally. It's gonna happen. We got Go Back to Canada! And then the NBA Final, that yeah. was fun. Yeah. But, yeah, we feel really special because, like, there are Canadians all over mm -hmm. the States, and they always seem to find us, yeah. and even, like, the diehard World Tour fans. Yeah. We have found our own little family yeah. of AVP followers yeah. and it's so fun. Yeah. To be honest, like I knew the gravity of playing in Manhattan Beach and I didn't want to let it kind of take over. So I just kind of tried to take it as another tournament. And like each game was 
a game in itself, and we didn't really look beyond that. And then when the ball dropped at, was it 16-14 in the third, I like couldn't believe that we did it. And we got our name on the pier immortalized and like we can always go back there and we will be on that. It's quite humbling to like be included in that because these are people like Melissa and I watched the AVP on TV when we were growing up. Every Sunday. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was really cool like watching it as a little kid and then getting to play it as an adult and actually yeah. win. It's it's awesome. AVP fan, thank you so much for the support and um, we love playing here. We love playing on the AVP. We appreciate you and we're so lucky that we get to be here.